Hi everyone, welcome to Narish Technologies. This is Srinivas. So, in this session, so we are going to discuss so one important interview question. So, that is, so what is serialization? So question. So, what is so serialization? So, serialization is the concept of converting object state into persistent state. Sir, what is that persistent state? Means, what it is a permanent state? It is a permanent. So, physically is we are storing the state of an object in a particular location, in a particular physical medium. See, so take one object. So, any object you can take, any object, suppose it is an account class object. It is an account class. Account class, account number is present. Account number. So, any number we are writing, any number and next one is so a balance is present. So, balance and here suppose initially the balance is a 8000 consider. At some location the object will be created, object will be created and this is the reference variable as we know the concepts basic things. And now, so from time to time the state of an object will change. So, what is that state of an object mostly as a balance value will change. Right, so this is what we call the state. State. So, so based on the operations we are performing on the account from time to time, right, the state will be changed. For example, if you perform a withdraw operation, for example, you withdraw three thousand rupees. So eight thousand minus three thousand, the value become five thousand. Suppose I deposit five thousand rupees. So five thousand plus five thousand is a ten thousand. So like that from time to time. So, depends on the operations we are performing, right, the state will change. So, so, every time whenever we are changing the state, we need to maintain that information. So, why the reason? For example, after performing some of the transactions, ATM transactions, account transactions, anything. Suppose, if you are looking for a statement, right, so all the transaction statements, if you are looking for, then bank should provide that statement. So, then where they will maintain that information, where they will maintain means as a permanently. So, either in a file system they have to maintain or in a database. So, in a core level, so it is a file system simply we can call it as. So, here converting object state into the persistent state, object state into persistent state is called as a serialization. So, this is the process of serialization. And this is, so we can also call it as object streams, is a writing so object by object. The entire object we are writing into, permanently we are writing into a file. And here it is a file name is anything, file name is anything, but extension should be S E R. Extension should be dot S E R, okay, it is a serializable extension. So, here so, whatever the data, so whatever the data will be written, so that is in a, is a binary format. So, this is and this file, so once the file is ready, that you can send in the network. So, it can travel in the network easily. Okay. So, this is actually the concept of a serialization, concept of serialization. Here it is converting object state into persistent state, so nothing but into permanent state is the concept of serialization and here it is. So, we use uh, object streams, we use object streams to perform serialization. So, nothing but and here it is in a in a I O package right object output stream class is there right is the using that object output stream. So, we can write that entire object into that serializable file. So, first we need to create object for object output stream and in object output stream class in a object output stream class. So, there is a method called write object method, write object. So, what object you want to write? What object you want to write? So, that object, so reference we need to pass as an argument. So, then automatically it will write into that file. In a process of object creation, you will represent that file name, but one important thing is here here, so this account, account is a class and that account class object you want to serialize. 
then that account should implements implements an interface is a serializable interface it's mandatory it is mandatory okay see here so means what which class object you want to serialize the class must implements serializable interface must implements serializable interface okay so then only this uh, this object we can convert into persistent state simply what is serialization means the process of converting object state into persistent state okay so in the persistent state so the data will be available in a binary format so directly you cannot open and you can't see so what is inside the file because that is in a binary format so once again we should deserialize so and then only we can see okay so this is so what is serialization so hope you understood well for more videos please subscribe to naresh it channel thank you thank you all Thank you.